Hello, and welcome to Red Hawk Talk 2015-2016. I'm Nick Kacharni, and this is my co-anchor, Scotty uh, Bianc... Bianco Fior... Uh, B Scotty B! What do you got, Scotty? Um, well, for this year we're going to start off with uh, the new school year interviews with Dylan Cad and the boys. Hello, welcome to Red Hawk Talk. I'm interviewing here Austin. He's new to the school. Where are you from, Austin? I'm from Edgertucky. Ah, Edgertucky. Nice area. All right. So, how do you like your high school experience? Uh, you know, it's it's pretty uh, it's a pretty big school compared to Edgerton. Uh, there's a lot of girls. It's nice. I didn't mean to say that. I didn't mean to say that. Oh, he didn't mean to say that. No worries, ladies. He's available. All right. Uh, how do you like your schedule? Um, it's pretty good. I got moved around a bit. I don't have uh, two study halls in the beginning anymore, so that kind of kind of slept in those classes. So. Ah, I heard you moved to video production with me. How is that? It's uh, pretty nice. You know, I, I sit in there doing all that editing. Not really. Yeah, he's gonna be helping me edit this right now. Thank you, Austin. No problem, man. All right, back to you guys. Thing you would want to change about the high school? Um, well, since apparently there's PLC two times last year a week, so that should be changed. <laughs> Why do you think that should be changed? Because we already get enough homework and we should have more free time. Fair enough. Back to you guys at the desk. I, I, I forgot. Think, I don't think. Am I done? I'm pretty sure he was asking. This young lady here is homecoming. I already have a date, but yeah. thank you. Yeah. It could still work? No. Thank you, Dylan, for interviewing some of the new students here at Milton High School. I hope they really enjoyed here, because I know I sure do. And oh boy, do I too. I love it here. And now we're off to John Crofts and the crew with the Milton Red Hawk Sports Report. Here you go, Crofts. Thanks, Scotty and the crew. Welcome to Red Hawk Sports. I'm Will Thomas. I'm Jane Schroeder. Last Friday night, the Milton Red Hawks played Monroe Cheesemaker in a very, very well-played football game. With Milton pulling ahead in the last two minutes on a touchdown with 56 seconds left and a pick six to end the game, with the final score being 20-6. to six. Now with Jonathan Crofts with Patrick O'Leary and Drew Hermanson. All right, thanks, Jaden. I'm here with Drew Hermanson of the uh, Milton Red Hawk football team. And uh, what position are you, Drew? I play middle linebacker. Very nice, very nice. And uh, just a couple of questions for you. Uh, what do you think are the very most important games in this season? Uh, I'd say Ford Atkinson, because if we win that, we clinch playoffs. And then, obviously, Stone's homecoming, and Oregon is seems to be the team to beat so far. All right, thank you. And... Uh, now you are our team captain, right? On the football team? Yeah, I am. All right, and uh, now what role do you play as a captain? Uh, we give the coach input on what like decisions to make. Yeah. And thank you for giving up, giving up your very, very precious, precious, time, precious time to, to be with us today. All right. All right. Thank you, Jonathan. The Milton boys soccer team had the Milton invite this weekend. They went 1-1-1 one, one, and one in pool play, beating Columbus 4-0, tying to Forest 0-0, zero, zero, and a close game they lost to Beloit Memorial 2-1. to one. Now to Kirk Larson with Jake Schmidt. Hi, I'm Kirk Larson. I'm here with captain of the Red Hawk boys soccer team, Jake Schmidt. How are you doing today, Jake? I'm doing terrific. That's great. Jake, how's your season going so far? It's going pretty well. We have a record of 5-2-2. Two, and two. We're coming off a win against Stoughton, and we play against uh, Oregon tonight. That's fantastic. Um, How did your invite go last weekend? Uh, it went pretty well. We uh, won our first game, we tied our second game, and then we sadly lost the last game against White Memorial. That's a good team. So, are you happy with how your team is playing this year? Yes, we uh, have, been, have been able to uh, keep to our uh, play style. We pass the ball very well, and we're also able to finish uh, 
20 plus goals this season. That's fantastic. Okay, Red Hawk Boys Soccer. Go check them out. The next home game is Tuesday, the 22nd. So, thank you, Jake. Thank you. Have a great night. You too. Thanks, Kirk. Milton is known for many things such as football and wrestling. But their girls' swim team has been very, very good over these past couple of years, competing to send girls to state every single year. Now over to John Cross with some more information with Hannah Calhoun on the swim team. Thank you, Will. I'm here with Hannah Calhoun and Jane Toberman. Uh, Hannah, what events do you take place in when you are at swim meets? Uh, the 100 backstroke and 50 freestyle. Very nice, very nice. And uh, Jane, at swim meets, what do you do as a manager? Um, well, I just time with my stopwatch and take with their splits so they you know like how they can improve. Nice. And cheer on. Awesome. Very supportive of you. And uh, Hannah, how's your uh, senior year of swim going for it's you? It's pretty good. I mean, yeah, last year, so I'm making a good one. Nice. And uh, Jane, what do you do before a swim meet, like to get ready for timing, like your stopwatches? Do you have to? Um, well, I just like get all the names organized, I guess. I just you know, get them pumped. And then I like their names on the thingy so I know when they're up. Very nice, very nice. All right. That's Jane Toberman and Hannah Calhoun with swimming. Back to the studio with you guys. Thanks, Jonathan. That's all for us from Red Hawk Sports. I'm Will Thomas. I'm Jane Schroeder. Back to you guys' desk. Thank you for that sports update, guys. What do we got next, Nick? Well, now we're off with Dylan and Cal for Red Hawk Advice, where they're going to teach us all how to get some homecoming dates this year. Nice. Hi, I'm Callahan Steed with the Red Hawk Talk segment called Red Hawk Advice with Cal and Dylan, and I'm here with Colin McKibben. So, Colin, what do you think of all the homecoming themes so far this year? Oh, well, they're all right. I think they've definitely been worse. I think we did a pretty good job this year. Are you thinking about asking anyone to the homecoming dance? Absolutely not. Do you have any advice you could give to someone that possibly could be maybe a little scared or not able to think uh, they could be able to get a girl to go with them? All right, well, since we're obviously talking about you, um, <laughs> yeah, no, you're hopeless. Back to you guys in the studio. So what advice can I give to you guys that are going to ask that special someone out to homecoming? Well, the one thing I can tell you is be bold, be confident. The worst they can say is no, or, you know, in my case, say no repeatedly, and repeatedly, and repeatedly, and then give you a restraining order. <laughs> my love life stinks. <laughs> you no, know I can't take one more step towards you. Cause all that's waiting is regret <laughs> Back to you guys in the studio Thanks Cal and Dylan for showing me how to get a homecoming date this year Scotty? Anyways, now we're off to getting rejected with Mitchell and Caleb What are you most excited for for homecoming this year? Um, I'm excited for the spirit week I'm excited to dress up Nice if you could pick any celebrity to go to homecoming with, who would you pick? Um, Nick Jonas. All right. <laughs> now, who are you going to homecoming with? Want to go with me? <laughs> <laughs> um, no. <laughs> what are you most excited for for homecoming this week? Activities night. <laughs> All right, good. <laughs> if you could pick any celebrity to go to homecoming with, who would it be? Channing Tatum. All right, who are you going to homecoming with? Mitchell. Will you Jason. go with me? What? No. <laughs> what are you looking forward to homecoming this year? The dance and the game. That's my favorite part of the whole thing. Really? Yes, and the dress-up days. The Taurus day is going to be the best day ever because it's going to be really wacky. That's what I'm saying. That's good. All right. If you could pick any celebrity to go to homecoming with, who would you pick? Um, Frank Sinatra, somebody like a really good singer. All right. That's who it would be. Are you going to homecoming with anybody? Yes, I am. Would well, you like to go with me? Oh, I already have a date, but you could come in our group, you see. Like, I have a friend that doesn't have a date. <laughs> 
Thanks guys for showing me how to handle rejection. What's next, Scotty? We're gonna go to Thomas in the school store. Hello. We are wondering what you are looking forward to school store this year. I'm looking forward most to having kind of a smaller group. We only have 10 kids in the class right now. But with a smaller group, we should be able to hopefully get a lot of the little projects done and make the store as best it can be. Is that going to be a problem with hours working with the small group? It is going to make it a little bit more difficult to, for the store to be open as often as it has in the past. We're looking at uh, changing our format to being open only two days a week, uh, Mondays and Thursdays currently. But we're also going to be open from 3 to 5 o'clock, so people will have a longer period of time to uh, get to the store, and it should work out for people that don't get off work right away and that kind of stuff. So I think the community will be happy with our new hours. So Mondays and Thursdays, 3 to 5. Are you coming up with any new products for this school year? Yeah, we're already pushing to get a lot of new products coming with homecoming being uh, so early this year. We have uh, lots of different product ideas. We've narrowed it down to six new products that are coming in next week in time for homecoming. We got uh, two new t-shirts, a uh, long sleeve t-shirt, some shorts, uh, and two new sweatshirts as well coming in. And then I think we're getting some uh, eye blacks for the, the kids to wear or high schoolers to wear as well, but uh, show their school spirit, so. Thanks, Thomas, for showing us what's new at the Hawks Nest this year. Now on to you, Scotty. Well, we're gonna go to Zach Spiegler and messing with freshmen. Bro, I'm not a freshman. I know. Mm. Hey there, I'm Speaks, and I'm gonna go mess with some freshmen. Hello, I'm Speaks. Hello, I'm Speaks. Hello, I'm Speaks. I'm Speaks. I'm here with the great and powerful Noah Hesgar. Nate, who's a freshman this year. Hello. Tori. And Martina. And I'm here with Adric. Um, have you ever been in freshman haze before? This is kind of shocking, huh? Like, are, are, you, are you all right? Yeah. You're okay, because that is just terrible. Like, no, I'm here for you. Like, it's all right. Like, no, come here. All right. Are there any bullies and and it's just a really great district. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. It's, a, it's just a bug that is flying around. I, I think it went that way, but anyway. Uh, so how do you like uh, Milton High School so far? It's cool. I like it. It's cool. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I, I'm, our mic's a little broken, so you gotta talk up like right it's in good. there. It's good. It's good. All right. Well, how about you? How about you? It's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you might need to speak up just a little bit in there. It's pretty good. <laughs> okay, that's that, that's good. Just the other day we got to have some cheese. Oh, hold on. I'm sorry. I'm just. There's just a bee. And I'm just I'm sorry. You know, there's bees like all over this school. Yes. And I'm in actually. Science class. I'm actually deathly allergic, so I can't like. I know there's no PDA in these halls, but no, I'm publicly displaying my affection for you. You don't have to be scared of these bones. <laughs> Are you alright? Yes. You good? Mm -hmm. Do you have any favorite teachers this year? Um, I like Mrs. Stotenboro. Yeah, you gotta talk to someone. I like bit. Mrs. Stotenboro. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have. I've learned. I'm try. I really like geometry. Jeez. Hold on. I am. There's a bee, and I'm just deathly allergic to them. So I have. I. It's. What do you like about you? Ten minutes. It's too bright. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's 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 coming and it's coming. Now I gotta I gotta get I gotta I can't like be seriously. Yeah. All right. I'm sorry. Yeah, okay, it's okay. I get really scared of bees. All right. It's 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 coming. All right. How about how about you? Miss Kettle. Oh Kettle. yeah, me too. I can't. Oh. Yeah, we had iPads party. Oh my god. I'm sorry. There's just this one bee that is coming out of the window and I, I gotta go. I can't I can't deal with this bee anymore. Okay. Um what just happened? Alright. 
Okay, all these questions were fake, and you were just on the segment messing with the freshmen. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, no. Can you go back to class? Uh, it's not no. anything too bad. I don't wanna, yeah. You took it pretty well, didn't freak out anything. But yeah, so thanks for being on our segment. No problem. Yeah, okay. <laughs> these are these are fake interviews. Oh, they are. And yeah, this is a segment I'm doing called Messing with the Freshman. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, but thank you guys for participating. I'm really glad. Um, but yeah, thank you, you guys. I'm, It was, nice to it was nice to meet you. Wait, are you showing this to people? Huh? Oh yeah, this will be on Red Hawk, uh, the Red Hawk talk in about like a week or so. So. <laughs> Thank you for checking out the first episode of Red Hawk talk for this 2015-16 school year. See you next time on Red Hawk talk. Oops. <laughs>